machine fi is the new web three philosophy about you know 100 billion machines 12.6 trillion dollars in value up for grabs and the, the fact is that 30 percent of the human workforce is going to be replaced by machines by 2030 and in these kind of situations we have to ask ourselves who's going to own this value and who's going to own these machines that are going to, literally going to be powering not just things in our professional lives but things in our business lives right and that really is the essence of machine fi to put power back into the people and not centralized corporations as web web 2 has taught us right um so just want to close here by mentioning that all the information that we covered today is explained in excruciating detail on machinefi.com right uh here you can find uh all those videos that we uh, presented uh with uh, marcos with art with claire to really show these use cases of machine fi we have a link to our vision paper uh which we kind of uh, snapped into um uh, a little bit throughout this uh, this live stream, but the vision paper is an amazing read, right? It really presents the future vision about what types of use cases are going to be en enabled by machine fi. And honestly, my my favorite part of that section is how machine fi is going to intersect with things that are already going on in blockchain, meaning DeFi, meaning uh, game fi and NFTs, and meaning DAOs, right? Uh, machine fi and DAOs, you know, that concept is so so powerful. I can't really begin to even explain it. Um, the ability for machines to participate in DAOs where all the pre all the logic is already pre-encoded, right? Where, you know, unlike humans that have uh, subjectivity within them, machines are unbiased. They're tamper proof. They do as they're told. So when combined with transparent rules and self-executing business logic, this is really the formation of autonomy, right? Um, a lot of these decentralized autonomous organizations today are not autonomous at all, right? They require human-based consensus. They require, um, you know, taking pauses to make sure everyone's in sync. But when you replace that with tamper-proof machines that, you know, just do as they're told, this is the real foundation for the autonomous future, right? All these autonomous vehicles coordinating with each other without any human intervention this is really the spirit of the future Web3 economy. Um, so definitely take a look at the vision paper. Um, you know, again, the Web3 machine economy powered by IOTEX. Um, we are going to have a lot of uh, videos here uh, explaining machine five further. Um, again, the vision paper is a great read. Uh, it's available right here. We're actually ver working on kind of a version two with more graphics and use cases that are really going to share even more concepts that we had uh, outlined today. And uh, the, uh, as I mentioned, the IOTEX roadmap, just to cover it again in a little bit more detail, right? Um, the path to machine fi, this is not an overnight thing, right? Let's make that clear. To enable the Web3 machine economy, uh, we're laying the groundwork. We're laying the infrastructure that's going to allow everybody to build things that IOTEX honestly has already built. You know, taking the concept of Pebble Tracker and expanding it, not just the asset tracking space, but uh, you know, uh, automotive and renewable energy and healthcare, all of these things are going to be uh, enabled by our vision of machine fi. And the path to that, as we mentioned, uh, probably even within the next couple of weeks or few weeks, we're going to be launching our machine fi portal, which is going to be a brand new portal where everyone can go in. Whether you, even if you don't have an IOTEX device, right? We're going to have kind of virtual versions of devices that you can use to test out and experience machine fi for yourself. Um, you know, this is not just a website, it's an entire onboarding flow for Pebble Tracker and all these other devices. And for those that understand, you know, blockchain and smart devices, connecting hardware to the blockchain is incredibly hard, right? IOTEX has been able to do this with grace um, and make it look easy, but um, bringing all types of universal devices to the blockchain, this is something that is, uh, it takes a lot of effort and a lot of know-how. Um, and that's kind of what we were uh, discussing during that tech panel, right? So the Machine Five portal itself is a huge initiative, and we're going to see that in, in probably the coming weeks. It's going to be very, very exciting. Um, the other thing that you know people in our community may have heard us talk about a lot is TrueStream. Um, I can't explain how large of an effort TrueStream is. It really is an entire new crypto project being launched by IOTEX, right? And it's going to pair directly with our layer one blockchain to seamlessly bring the information and value from machines uh, to the blockchain and make it available in a subgraph so that DApp builders can ingest this data 
uh, in a very seamless way, right? Um, if you think about uh, all these concepts that we're talking about today, almost as kind of like an if then statement, right? If something happens in the real world and you can prove it to the blockchain, then you can trigger any type of response, whether it's mint an NFT, settle a payment, trigger a notification, kick off another workflow. What TrueStream is meant to do is manage that entire if part. We want to make the if part available to dApp builders so then they, they can focus on their own domain knowledge and figure out the response to this real world data, right? So TrueStream, a huge project, huge undertaking, going to be launching in beta in Q1 of 2022, which is the first ever real world data oracle that's going to bring real world data to blockchain for the very first time, right? Um, as Xin Xin mentioned during his call, machine identity, decentralized identity for machines and an open hardware spec, basically giving machines the ability to hold an identity that's registered on the blockchain for trust and authenticity and allow them to own the data and value that they produce, right? Without identity, um, you know, think about if you were trying to do business in the real world with someone that doesn't have an identity, how could you trust them, right? So if we embed identities into machines, it's going to allow machines to trust other machines and therefore interact in this kind of autonomous structure that we're talking about. An incredibly important pillar that's going to be coming in Q2 of 2022. And finally, towards the second half of 2022, we're really going to be working on making the user experience of bringing d devices, users, and dApps all together in what we call the Machine Five Marketplace, right? Uh, we're probably going to ask the community to come up with an awesome name for this Machine Five Marketplace because it's really going to be like the App Store for IoTechs, right? Users are going to go there, interact with apps there, connect their devices to all types of um, applications. Uh, and it's going to come with a framework for dApp builders to really tokenize and monetize this information in a lot of ways, right? Um, there's so many concepts that are going to fit into this machine five marketplace, not just decentralized applications as you're, as you're already used to today, but the concept of data pools, right? Intelligence pools, bringing together information from all types of devices into one pool where those that contribute to that pool will be fractional owners of the pool and earn value every time someone queries it. It's kind of like a DeFi liquidity pool, but instead of tokens, it's with information and value created by machines, right? That's really going to spark this bottoms up reformation of all these vertically integrated silos uh, that Web2 has created. We're going to shatter those silos and return all this value, all this data to the people and make this peer to peer ecosystem really flourish. Um, and finally, what's really, really interesting is we've always had this vision of making IOTEX the decentralized hub for IoT. Um, we want to bring all this data and value. Of course, we want to consolidate it, originate it on IOTEX first and foremost. But when we think about the multi chain future, everybody is going to want what IOTEX has, right? We are carving out a moat of this smart device industry where no one is really doing what we're doing. Every EVM chain is going to want to connect to IOTEX. Every DApp is going to want to connect to IOTEX to, to grab the information and the value that's on the IOTEX network. And by spreading it to even more blockchains and finding new utility, it's going to really transform the face of the entire crypto space. So that's kind of the roadmap. Uh, like I mentioned, all of these individual pillars are going to have their official uh, technical white papers and technical designs. Uh, and we can't wait to share what we've been working on with you. Um, it's been such a journey over the past year. I, honestly, we've been working on TrueStream for the past one and a half years. It's one of those kind of research challenges that in the beginning, we didn't know if it would work or not. Now we're at the point where we're finalizing the beta launch and it's going to come to life. And it's really one of those things that makes us really proud that we've solved yet another really big hurdle, right? The first one was how do we create consumer devices with UCAM? The next one is how do we bring data and sign it uh, and bring that to the blockchain? And with TrueStream, what we're doing is we're taking those concepts and making them universal for any type of machine. Um, really, really groundbreaking stuff. We all love to travel. Places unknown and places are very familiar. You can travel with your families anywhere you want to go. Now with IOTEX and Travala Partnerships, we're bringing millions of destinations for your families to enjoy and travel. IOTEX makes your travel fun, faster, and cheaper. That's the best feeling. 
So join us. Welcome to the Machine 5 Future. I just checked in into a hotel with Pebble. I booked my, all my flights with Iotex. In fact, every time I get a coffee or I get a lunch, I'm able to do it with IOTDX token. And the best part is, this is proof of travel. I'm able to get rewards, and so can you. Yeah, my personal travel experience is powered by Iotex and adjusts to my preferences. So I love when I travel and it's catered directly to me. We're all parts of MachineFi, and whenever you go to any city, you're able to earn rewards, complete itineraries from curators. They're your peers who know the city. So you can go to rail landmarks, restaurants, any place that you've never been before, complete that itinerary and earn IOTEX tokens and NFTs. How cool is that? And if you have Pebble, even more rewards. So join us on this new future.